Can you use Wing Chun in a street fight and is it really worth your time in 2018? question uh, the other day from Scott Hall he's saying I see a lot of negative things on YouTube saying if you practice only with a partner the Wing Chun movements that in a real life fight you will probably get destroyed they say most fights don't center around straight punches and center line like Wing Chun does what are your thoughts I love studying Wing Chun just confused on some of the negative feedback well I was actually telling this same story to my students the other night when I finished my instructor's uh, certification for Wing Chun my biggest problem was when I was sparring with uh, people who were doing other types of martial arts was that they did not know Wing Chun in the sense that they were not attacking me in a straight line and trying to punch my face right they were using different angles you're moving their heads, right? They're going for the body. So they were doing so many actions that I was not used to. Now, in my previous school where I learned Wing Chun, we were focusing very much on speed, power development, <clears throat> precision, accuracy, but not enough on sparring. We didn't really have enough sparring experience i know that one of my kung fu brothers uh actually quit wing chun and he started training mma and he was sharing his frustration with me he was saying i cannot believe that after so many years of studying karate he i think he did shorokan before and so many years studying wing chun I, i'm getting my ass kicked in this mma school right and i'm thinking that scott is experiencing is experiencing a similar frustration Scott if you're watching this it's probably because you're not getting enough uh, sparring experience that's exactly what I told my Kung Fu brother because in my previous Sifu school sparring wasn't encouraged not only that it wasn't encouraged you weren't actually really allowed to spar and because of that people had absolutely no ability to use their weapons, right? Their their uh, skills, their their basics. They their Wing Chun was not functional. Scott, if you're looking for um, ability in defending yourself against boxers, MMA fighters, um, kickboxers, I would absolutely advise doing more sparring sessions with people who are strong, people preferably people who are bigger than you. And you will adapt your, your Wing Chun, right? You will become a lot more aware of attacks coming to the body, right? To the ribs here or to the side, right? Hooks like that, right? Because people are not going to... People are, are not going to attack you in a straight line. They're going to go here, right? In these kinds of angles. So, if you encourage your partner to go out of Wing Chun or just... just go in a school where people are actively training their, their, their fighting experience, right? And that's what they're doing. You're going to adapt your Wing Chun to that situation, right? Don't get me wrong. Wing Chun is a gorgeous system. It will, it will help you know yourself in such a deep way, right? It will help you build more self-confidence than you've ever had it will help you be more sensitive more present to other people more compassionate right more um more aware of what's happening inside of you and what's happening around you it's an incredible tool for your development as an individual however if you want it to be functional 
if you want to use it to to defend yourself then you cannot practice Wing Chun without a sparring aspect to it right so if your school and I'm being really honest right, I'm, I'm speaking from the heart right now if your school does not have a sparring element to it it means that it's more focused towards building community it's more focused towards an, an activity you know people getting together to have more fun and it's not really that focused towards the fighting aspect of Wing Chun right and that's just the truth so if you're looking to feel that you can rely on your basics then you might need to to find a different school right to practice uh, those elements or we'll just combine it with with MMA with kickboxing with boxing to get that kind of fighting experience right Wong Sun Lung who is one of the most famous um, Wang Chun teachers and fighters right he was um, he was one one of Yip Man's top students he used to box right he was a boxer before starting Wing Chun and that helped him better understand the fighting applications of Wing Chun and make it functional okay you cannot in 2018 isolate yourself from what's happening inside the martial arts world and say to yourself you know what if Bruce Lee used this if Yip Man used this successfully, then it must work today as well. You cannot, right? Because cars are not the same as uh, 100 years ago, right? Planes are not the same as 100 years ago. So in my opinion, I, I think you need to adapt. Scott, I, ho I hope this uh, helps. And uh, thank you so much for your comment and your question. And let me know if you have more questions that you'd like me to address in the next video I'm, i'll be answering agalos's uh question he's saying i recently had a fight with some guys i punched them a lot in the head but after the fight i saw my hand and i broke some knuckles from the hits i gave now i'm thinking or to never punch again to the face because it's hard or only hit with the palm yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're going to be discussing in the uh, next video. So if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so and go ahead and click the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a video on my YouTube channel. And uh, if you want my personal help towards building more power, speed, precision, stability, and self-confidence so that you live a happy, healthy, and abundant life, be sure to check out our um, Empowerment Wing Chun online uh, program where myself and my team will help you do just that. Um, the link is in the description where you can check out more details about the program, see what other people who are already in the program are seeing about their experience. So basically the difference between this program and all the other um, online martial arts training programs is that you gain a deep foundation and deep skills in Wing Chun in self-defense but we don't stop there because I want you to have a life or I want you to have your dream life and here's why uh, just a few years ago I basically hated my life I, I, I just I felt trapped I felt like I couldn't do what I loved which was martial arts and helping people and I noticed that so many people are in the situation where they're doing something just just for money but it's not their full expression it's not what they love and a lot of people feel stuck a lot of people have a very weird internal dialogue let me know if you've ever said this to yourself you're not good enough um, why did you choose this job why does this happen to me um, let me know if you have this feeling when you're by yourself that you need to that you need to lose yourself in social media This program is for you if you feel lost if you feel that life could be about that, that life is so much more than just going to work getting paid complaining going to sleep and feeling and, and this feeling of emptiness 
that most people deal with. So again, this program is different because we don't just stop with the martial arts. I want you to have the life of your dreams. Because when I broke through and I started doing what I loved, everything changed. Everything changed. I changed as, as a person. I came to the realization that we all, that, that, that the world would be a much better place if all of us would have the courage, the self-confidence, the love and compassion to do what we truly loved in our lives. So go ahead and check the link in the description and I cannot wait to see you in our online program.